Well, back in the workshop after a 10 day trip in the van, which went uh, pretty well, uh, no real issues, a couple of minor leaks, of course, and uh, we're just redoing the uh, width of the bed. Previously, the bed was uh, 1.2 meters wide with an additional uh, turning turning the cushions upside down to give us an extra width but didn't really work very well so uh, we decided to extend the width of the bed by 200 mil which will give us uh, a standard double width which also meant uh, cutting cutting back the cupboard width here and also the uh, runner that the bed glides on down the other end so a bit of a faff but uh, I'm just about back where where I was before there you can see the the extra 200 mil I've, uh, I've welded in on the aluminium uh, and then had to redo the strap fixing uh, holes uh, on the inside uh, it also gave me an opportunity to uh, improve on the gliding uh, system. Uh, I'll try and get a try and get a close up of that. Uh, the previously I had two what were shower shower door round nylon shower door runners, which I adapted and put on a a thread end to come through. Uh, this hole and allowed the the bed to glide up and down the rails but uh, that wasn't really man enough and the same the same on this side so I've done away with those and I've I've made these two uh, gliders stainless steel gliders which is the width of the inside of this channel and the same height as the as the aluminium frame about 50 mil and instead of sort of four mil thread ends coming through I've now got uh, six mil uh, thread ends coming through uh, so it's far more robust and I've wrapped some very very thin nylon sheet around the stainless steel to allow it to glide in this groove uh, actually quite nicely. This side is is threaded, the six mil thread end is threaded into the, the aluminium frame and on this side I've, I've set up a uh, an aluminium tube which I've welded through from the outside uh, and there is a stainless steel pin which is exactly the same uh, in uh, external dimensions as the internal dimension of the aluminium tube uh, that that stainless steel pin is welded to this stainless steel glider and what that allows is uh, any any sideways movement to be taken up by the fact that it's not is it's not threaded it's not fixed that pin slides inside the aluminium tube so if for any reason the the uh, width between the rails at the top is any different with the rail gone um, to the rail at the bottom having having the ability for this frame to have some sort of uh, horizontal movement there won't be any strain on any of these fixing points these gliding points uh, while I had it all apart I improved on the on the drive shaft uh, replacing which was always the intention 
to replace the what was a garden parasol an old garden parasol pole uh, with a, a now a stainless steel tube uh, and then these guide discs which allow the straps to stay within the, uh, the right setting, the right placing. Uh, I've got the stainless steel tube from a local scrap merchant. It's exactly the same diameter as the wooden pole I had. Uh, this tube, uh, about 1.5 metres, cost me... Come on, camera. Uh, cost me four pounds. <laughs> you can believe it. Uh, and then just made up the discs uh, from scrap stainless. Uh, I guess I'm lucky that I can. I have got the equipment to to weld aluminium and stainless, which makes uh, all these jobs a lot easier. This, um, these guide rails, these guide rails were available on uh, Amazon. Uh, it took me quite a while to find the uh, the right uh, sort of rails to use. Uh, but they work really well. Um, it's the motors are noisy on the camera. They're not quite as noisy in real life, but I'll I'll show you. That glides very nicely. No real issues with that. They, um, the the nylon wrapped round the stainless steel uh, doesn't seem to have any problems with the with the the joins, as these these rails are only available, I believe, if I can remember correctly, in 800 or 600 millimeter uh, lengths. So I had to get four lengths and and cut the top two down but um, that's sort of the the upgrades uh, this time round and this the straps this is with the with the ceiling panels taken off so the ceiling panels then will come up to here and cover all the insulation and the and the two straps And here they they come along the ceiling. They wrap around these rollers, which are on uh, ball bearing ball bearings, and come down here through these this guide, uh, and then come down wrap underneath the aluminium frame. And then get clamped by these other uh, aluminium bars. Now I've just got to recut. I had to buy a load of the IKEA uh, bed slats uh, because adding the 200 mil uh, obviously means that the bed slats that uh, were here are now too short. So I've got another another stack of those to cut. And once they're once they're in, I'll almost be back to where I was when we came back from the uh, from the trip. Other improvements I'm going to have to make uh, is the the drainage for the uh, for the shower uh, isn't optimal, so I'm going to have to add this this uh, linear shower drain. Which will will be put in underneath underneath the toilet, so it'll run from one side underneath the toilet to the other, and it'll uh, it'll link up with what is underneath the toilet, the the drain about that point. And I'll show that in another video. Well, I hope this was useful to somebody, and see you again.